Think of this. There was an Indian engineer who lived for 101 years, who transformed the shape and spirit of most of the engineering marvels of India. On the eve of Engineers' Day, we would like to talk about Moksha Gundam Vishwasaraya, under whose name we celebrate and rejoice on the National Engineers' Day in India. Now, who was Mr. M. Vishwasaraya and why was this gentleman so important? Born on 15th September 1861, he was a very disciplined student from a young age. He devised a new system of irrigation called the block system and this in turn prevented wastage of water. He would be using some of these irrigation techniques in the construction of the Krishna Raja Sagar Dam too. He joined Mysore state in 1912 that would mark the most glorious phase of his career. He literally built modern Mysore state, laid its foundation, of course with active backing from the visionary ruler Krishna Raja Vadiyar IV, one of the wisest rulers of his times, served for three years as a chief engineer of Mysore state before he was appointed as the Diwan, equivalent to the chief minister to the Maharaja. His greatest achievement would be the Krishna Raja Sagar Dam, a marvel of modern engineering. Till date, many people in the Mysore Mandya region remember Mr. M. Vishwasaraya fondly for the change he brought in their lives with the KRS Dam. Mr. M. Vishwasaraya was given the Bharat Ratna in 1955, one of the few times where it was given to a deserving person. Engineers Day gives us a great opportunity to deep dive into the various engineering marvels of India. Now, India has historically been a country producing engineering marvels, creating multiple structures over the pages of history, one after the other. The Sindhu Saraswati civilization is a testament to the fact that this sacred land has excelled in conjuring engineering feats since time immemorial. Dholavira, an ancient city of the Sindhu Saraswati civilization, located in the arid run of Kutch in Gujarat, stands as a testament to the advanced engineering and urban planning of one of the world's oldest metropolis. Discovered in 1967-68 by J.P. Doshi, Dholavira reveals a well-planned city with sophisticated infrastructure. Dholavira is renowned for its exceptional water management system, Bangalore can learn, featuring a series of massive reservoirs, intricate drainage systems, and sophisticated water conservation structures. Moving forward to medieval India, the Kailash Temple at Elora in Maharashtra exemplifies unparalleled rock-cut architecture. Carved from a single rock, this 8th century marvel was commissioned by King Raja Krishna of the Rashtrakuta dynasty and stands as a symbol of artistic and engineering brilliance. The temple, dedicated to Lord Shiva, features elaborate sculptures and intricate carvings that seem almost otherworldly. The construction involved excavating approximately 2 lakh tons of rock, a task that took over 20 years to complete. Let me repeat that again. 20 years to complete. The complex features a massive stone canopy supported by intricately carved pillars and detailed reliefs depicting scenes from the Hindu mythology. These include colossal stone elephants and ornate carvings that highlight the artisan's extraordinary skills and the sophisticated engineering techniques of the time. The Brihadiswarar temple, built in the early 11th century under the reign of King Raja Raja Chola I, is a masterpiece of engineering and architectural excellence. Its construction involved the precise use of granite, which is not locally available, indicating the sophisticated logistics and resources management of that time. The temple's towering viman, standing at 66 meters, is constructed from massive granite blocks, and the placement of the 80-ton capstone atop the viman remains an engineering marvel believed to have been achieved using a 6 km long inclined plane. And this is just the beginning. Even post-independence, India continued to showcase its engineering capabilities through the construction of massive infra projects. The Hiraku Dam, completed in 1957 across the Mahanadi River in Odisha, is one of the longest earthen dams in the world, stretching over 25.8 km. This dam represents a significant achievement in water management and flood control, providing irrigation for extensive agricultural areas, generating hydroelectric power and helping in flood mitigation. The dam's reservoir 
Hirakud Reservoir is a crucial source of water for the region, supporting both agriculture and industry. The Konkan Railway, inaugurated in 1998, is a marvel of modern engineering, spanning the rugged terrain of the Western Ghats. The railway line covers 740 kilometers from Maharashtra to Karnataka. Its construction involved overcoming significant geological and environmental challenges, including the construction of 91 tunnels and 1,969 bridges. The Panwal Nadi Bridge, one of the tallest viaducts in Asia, and the Karbuta Tunnel, one of the longest railway tunnels in India, are highlights of this project, showcasing innovative engineering solutions. The Pamban Bridge, an iconic railway bridge on the sea connecting the Indian mainland with Rameshwaram Island, has been a marvel of engineering since its opening in 1914. The original bridge known for its double leaf bascule section allowing ships to pass has been closed and a new modern bridge is under construction this new bridge aims to enhance safety durability and connectivity continuing the legacy of this crucial link across the pox strait in the heart of mumbai the bandra worldly sea link completed in 2010 is an example of modern india's infrastructure advancements this 5.6 km long cable state bridge not only eases traffic congestion but also symbolizes the country's progress in civil engineering and urban development this bridge which spans the arabian sea features eight lanes and has significantly reduced travel time between bandra and worli two major suburbs of mumbai you know when i was researching and reading about all these it filled me with a sense of pride in terms of how much we have advanced and built as a country with regards to our engineering greatness one of the greatest achievements of our current engineering marvels is the chenab bridge the chenab bridge soaring 359 meters above the chenab river in jammu and kashmir's reesi district is the tallest rail bridge in the world and a testament to india's engineering prowess built at a cost of 1486 crore rupees it overcomes significant geotechnical challenges with innovative solutions like a massive steel arc design and blast proof construction this bridge improves regional connectivity boosts economic activities and enhances national security by facilitating rapid military deployment its completion marks a significant milestone in the udhampur shrinagar baramulla rail link promoting socio economic growth and national unity moving focus we now speak about marvels that we have seen more commonly in our day to day lives let's start with the beautiful the majestic statue of unity the tallest statue globally at 182 meters commemorates sardar vallabhbhai patel this project involved 2 lakh 10000 cubic meters of cement 25000 tons of steel and 1700 tons of bronze employing over 3400 workers and 250 engineers the mumbai coastal road project aims to decongest the market and enhance urban mobility spanning 29.2 kilometers from marine drive to kandivari featuring an eight lane highway with tunnels bridges and pedestrian pathways it employs advanced engineering techniques like precast segments and tunneling machines the project integrates smart traffic management green spaces and storm water management rapid rail enhancing urban connectivity the rapid rail transit system rrts aims to improve urban transportation in india's metropolitan areas connecting major urban centers with high speed trains capable of speeds up to 180 km per hour the rrts features advanced signaling systems modern stations and energy efficient operation using precast concrete segments elevated tracks and tunnels it minimizes environmental impact not just these we are also seeing similar engineering marvels in the domain of defense india's defense sector and isro showcase technological advancements and strategic capabilities drdo develops advanced defense technologies like the agni and prithvi missile tejas fighter jets and arjun tanks strengthening national security isro's achievements in space exploration include the mars orbiter mission chandrayaan mission and numerous satellite launches the tejas light combat aircraft lca symbolizes 
India's military aviation capabilities. Developed by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL, Tejas features a lightweight design, advanced avionics, and high maneuverability. Using composite materials, it is equipped with modern weapon systems. The innovations include fly-by-wire control, multi-mode radar, and a glass cockpit. Tejas boosts India's defense manufacturing, promotes self-reliance, and reduces dependence on foreign suppliers through Atmanirvarta. It also creates job opportunities and supports the growth of ancillary industries, enhancing the country's defense capabilities. These engineering marvels have played and will play a pivotal role in driving India's economic growth and overall development. As the country continues on its path towards becoming a global economic powerhouse, the need for robust infrastructure becomes increasingly apparent. Private sector partnerships have emerged as crucial enablers in this endeavor, bringing in much needed investment, innovation, and efficiency. By leveraging public-private partnerships, PPPs, India can accelerate infra development by ensuring sustainability and inclusivity. These partnerships not only help bridge the financing gap, but also foster competition, encourage technological advancements, and promote best practices in project execution. At the end, it all boils down to the fact what one man can do. The passion and the resilience of one man can shape and change the entire future of a country. Again, wishing you all a very, very happy Engineers Day. And always remember, education is one of the greatest mediums to get what you deserve. This is Akshay. See you in the next one.